Hey guys, Pete Large Cow for Instructors. Uh, it's been a little bit since I put up a video. Uh, holidays are done now, thank goodness. Um, I hope everybody had a great holiday season. Uh, good Christmas, good New Year's. Um, as good a New Year's as it could have been in your area. I know here we didn't, we couldn't do, really do anything, but uh, I had to work anyways. But So, in general, my wife and I really don't do much on New Year's Eve anyhow. So, Anyways, without further ado, um, just wanted to talk a little bit, um, is doing this every day worth it? Um, cleaning up poop, cleaning tubs, uh, taking care of the snakes, um, cleaning the room, wiping everything down, dusting, sweeping the floor every single day. Yeah, it is. I, I think it is. Um, if you're not... If you're waking up every day and you're I'm trying to think how it will work, if you're waking up every day and you're not like oh you're like thinking to yourself oh I gotta get up and go go do the snakes clean the tubs I gotta change the water oh, they probably pooped I gotta go clean the poop then this isn't for you um, but if you're like me you get up and you're like okay I'm gonna go check my snakes I'm gonna check the babies make sure everybody's good uh, they need the tubs clean clean the tub if they pooped clean it. That's what happens when you nature. Um, and you, if you don't like feeding uh, rodents to snakes, then it's probably isn't for you either because once a week at least, sometimes, like Tazzy, you could probably go 10 days. Um, at 14 days, two weeks is probably pushing it. The only time I will do that with him is um, if he's in shed because he won't, he will not eat when he's in shed. So I, other than wasting a rat, I don't even offer anymore. I've had Tazzy for over nine years now, and I know him pretty well. So that being said, um, we're going to show off a couple of, of uh, animals here. I love coming in here. I love checking on these guys every day. I check on them. I check on them when I get up in the morning. I check on them. So I, usually when I get up, I my routine is let the pups out, uh, get them situated downstairs, and I'll come up here into the snake room. Clean everybody's tubs, change the water. I don't clean clean tubs. I don't, you know, do a whole entire cleaning every day. I do the spot cleans if, uh, you know, somebody pooped or their urates in there or whatnot. Um, so I will spot clean the tubs, hold everybody. Um, right now there's 15 snakes up here, and they all get held for a few minutes each, uh, for a little bit each. Uh, depending, if they're in shed, I'll just kind of pick them up, look at them really quick, and then let them go back in. Um, which this guy here, I'm going to pull out our first snake today is going to be Loki. Loki is heavy in shed. He is very, very blue. So we're not going to mess with him too very much. Everybody. I know. Come here. And matter of fact, he's hissing at me. He never, he hardly ever hisses at me, but if you can see his eyes, they're very blue. They've got caps on them. So he's very, very, very dull, very blue. Um, ready to shed. So his tub's pretty, there's a lot of moisture in his tub. About the only time I'll put extra moisture in a tub is when um, they're like this so that they can shed out real well. Yes, buddy. You're fine. I will put you back. There you go. Go on, buddy. So I look for him to shed out uh, a few days, a couple days. He has not gone from the blue stage into the clear stage. Do you opaque? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and then usually after that, that's when they start to shed. Uh, if uh, if you do have a bad shed or a rough shed where they they don't get all the, the shed off of them, um, lukewarm water, about 80, 80 89 degrees water. Uh, about depending on the size of the snake, yeah, I usually for him I'll put in about an inch, inch and a half. But I've only had to soak him one time the whole time we've had him, and he we've had him for three years now. So um, usually he sheds out pretty well. Um, so who else can we show off real quick? Really quick, give me somebody. Um, one of my most favorite jeans, top three of my most favorite. I do have quite a few. Hi. Um, would be this gene right here. 
I love this jean. I always have. There's a million people out there making this jean. I want to be a million and one. This is pie. This is the pie ball jean. I have loved this jean for a long, long time. Um, this is Pinky. She came from Will Banks Captive Bread Reptiles when she was about 170 grams. I think she's right around 170 grams when she got here. She is now 800 grams. She's growing nice and slowly. She will be ready, hopefully, next season. Um, she is a very cool snake. She got substrate all over her. Did you get your... She got... It looks like she... I'm going to have to change her hide, I think. At least she got a little bitty scratch on her. We'll take care of that here in a minute. Did you get a hold of your hide again? Hmm? My sweet girl? She's pretty... She's very docile. I'd pretty much tie her in a pretzel and she wouldn't... Wouldn't care. So... Yeah, this is Pinky. She's our pied. She's just a normal pied. High white pied, of course. She does have a couple of freckles. Um, yeah, she's a very cool snake. You know, boot my nose. Um, I love this jean. I think this jean is cool. High white, low white. I love all the pieds. Um, so that's why this year we're trying to, I'm going to try and make my own. Produce my own because I think that's just awesome. Hi, baby girl. She's a very cool snake. She's very docile. I can pretty much do whatever I want with her. And while I have her out here real quick, since she does have a little bitty scratch on her, I think she's getting, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to change her hide out. I've got other hides here for her. I'm going to give her a new one because I don't like the fact that she keeps getting her, hurt herself. Easy, sweetie. Come here. I know you want to go roam around, but you can't. Yeah. Last time she had a little sore on her, that was from her rat. This possibly could be from that, but I don't know. I didn't see it the uh, last feed day. So, this is something recent. But it looks like it's already scabbed over, so it should be fine. Triple antibiotic is amazing. Whoever invented that, you're awesome. I know it's been around for years, so. I know, honey, you got to hold my arm. You're fine. Highball Jean's uh, top three favorites. Clown is another one. And probably another top favorite would be the Blue Eye Leucistics. Those are awesome. A lot of the clown combos I love, too. And a lot of the pie combos. And I hear Stormy. He's a whiny butt downstairs. For those who don't know, Stormy's our husky. Um, yeah, I love... I love all these guys. I wish there was like 50 snakes up here. Someday. Hopefully. Soon. Well, not soon, but someday there might be. Um, it'll be a cram pack, packed full of racks in here, but I already got plans. I got plans. So, and uh, once we get some babies available, we will go, I will go ahead and let everybody know. Um, I know I'll probably be putting them up on Morph Market. I will probably offer them to my Patreon people if I get some more people over there. It's still very small. There's only a small handful of people there. Uh, so, um, they will get first dibs, whoever's over there. I know there's nobody's probably going to jump on that. But Patreon people will always get first, first pick. Um, like I said, they will... My babies will be available on Morph Market. I do not have a Morph Market account set up yet because we don't have any babies or anything coming right now. We do have a couple girls that are... I think it hair is getting really close to me grabbing and oh, ovulate. She's huge. Um, I'm not... Uh, I don't have the funds or anything to go out and buy an ultrasound right now. Maybe one day we will have an ultrasound, but right now we're doing it old school. And me being new to this, I have no clue. No, I don't. I think she's got follicles in there. Pretty sure, 99% positive she does. But the size of them, I have no idea how big they are. So we'll just keep 
doing what we're doing. Um, we'll feed this week, and Thor will probably go back in with her. He came out of the 20th. Maybe on the 8th, I'll probably slip him back in with her. I did not see a lock the last time. Um, they were curled up together. Doesn't mean one did not happen, but I'm going to go ahead and put him in on the 8th and then give him, pull him out on Monday or Tuesday. And then we will give him a break again for another week or two. So, that being said, we will go ahead and um, show off some nails. Who else should we pull out? Um, real quick. I don't want this video to go like 40 minutes. Uh, we're at 10 minutes. Uh, 10, 12 minutes. Um, another one. Another one everybody should have in their collection. This one. This little girl. She needs to stop spilling her water. This is what she needs to do. I may have to switch water dishes with her. Which I might do right now. I'm gonna do that right now. That out. Sometimes the crock dishes, they're too tall. And they're too narrow at the bottom. Hang on one second. I'll get another water bowl out here. Let me see where I put them. They are right there. They're a little narrow at the bottom. Um, these here, these are just dog dishes. They're I don't know, polymer. They got a little rubber feet on them. They're splayed out at the bottom. So they will actually not fall. Or not tip as easy. But I will pull out some of the saturated substrate here with her. I'll resituate you guys a little bit so I can walk around you. We're going to tilt down a bit. I'm going to actually lower you guys so you guys get a better view of this. She's hiding in her hide. As you see, the substrate's pretty saturated. Yeah, a little bit too much for my liking. So we will um, move this garbage can here. All right. I'm just gonna pull out some of this and replace it with some fresh. And the fresh will be a little damp, but not as wet as this stuff is. I actually have some drier stuff up there. I might go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do with this then is I'm gonna pack it in. There are holes under this. Um, so she can get underneath this. So I'm just gonna pack it in. Cause I really don't want her to get underneath this. She used to have one of these in here and she used to actually, uh, Tip her water dish over when she got underneath of it. So, yeah. We'll make sure she hopefully does not do that again. And if she does, we'll have to pull this water dish out and try it on. It's just things work. Go on around here. So. Now, I do purposely leave out some of the substrate for this reason. It's kind of dry. It's a little bit wet, but it's more or less dry. The underneath of it's still got a little moisture to it, so it's not bone dry. And we will just replace what we took out there. there. And trust me that this stuff will get wet again once it's uh, in there for a little while. All right, further ado. What about this dish here? I need her some water and put in there for her. I know the anticipation's amazing, huh? They're probably thinking you should plan ahead. Yeah, I should, but I don't. So, yeah. It's another thing I like about these is I can actually take out the inside dish and put uh, pull it out and fill it with water. And just carefully pack that in like an animal. There. Alright. Alright, without further ado, this is a gene that everybody should have in their collection. Um, oh, as far as the water dishes go, if you're wondering where I got them, um, I got these from 
Pet Supplies Plus here in town, where I live. They're like, they're a little expensive. That's why I only have a handful of them. So, here's our girl. There she is. Oh my goodness, she's amazing. Everybody should have this gene in their collection. That's why it's called the Gotta Have It Gene. The GHI Gene. Here she is. My GHI girl, Aphrodite. Um, she was... A problem eater when we first got her. She has since taken off and is doing extremely well. She has doubled in size for, yeah, almost doubled in size since her little feed soiree. Or she didn't want to eat. Let me get your head out here, sweetie. Everybody wants to say hi. There's my girl. She's very handleable, even after all the stuff we put her through before. She was not eating and she was starting to get very skinny. So I tried everything, uh, contacted the um, place I got her from. Uh, also uh, had the uh, tub set up almost identical to the way they had it. Heats were, heat was on, humidity was on. She just refused to eat live, frozen, ASF, frozen, thawed. She was not having any of it. So, one day uh, I put her in a small, small tub with a rat pup and left her alone for a couple of hours, actually. A rat pup will not, has not gotten the teeth developed enough to hurt your snake. So, I would not put anything bigger in there than a rat pup. Just eyes, o eyes just opened um, on him, so... And I came back, checked her a couple hours later, and that rat was gone. And from that day on, she has taken off and has fed almost every week for us, except when she is in shed. She will not feed for us. But yeah, look at that gene. That's amazing. GHI is another cool gene. And of course, she is 66% possible hep for clown. We will prove that out in a year or two when she's big enough to breed. Um... Our yellow belly clown discord will be her boyfriend. Unless I'm able to find another clown before then that I like. But, yeah, she's a, I love the blushing on the sides. And of course, you know, you put GHI to some clown, you get GHI clowns, you get GHI Mojaves out of uh, Mojave GHI pairing. Um, yeah, it's just, GHI goes with just about any, any gene that makes it better. Um, I'd love to get some uh, GHI leopard uh, spot nose clowns. Oh, those would be cool. P future plans, future plans. But yeah, if you don't think that that's a beautiful animal, then yeah, we can't be friends. Yeah, we can be friends, but you just can't come over and play with my snakes. All right, we'll put her back and leave her alone. And with that, from all of us here, in the snake room and for myself and the puppies downstairs I occasionally hear stormy whine a little bit um, we're gonna end this real quick it's probably crazy long yeah it's getting long we're gonna go ahead and end this video and uh, like share subscribe hit the bell notification so you know when to put up an another video I'm gonna go back and try and do two one or two a week now I'm gonna be doing uh, a feed video, at least one feed video a week for Patreon. I'll probably be doing other stuff over on Patreon. I will also be doing stuff over on our Instagram page. Um, I'm on there uh, every day. So go over there, check that out. Um, we were talking about doing a Twitter page. Uh, so we'll see if uh, we do that. I'll let everybody know that. Uh, the Prize Large Caliber at large caliber instructors over there but we don't have that done yet um, we may not do that we may we'll see but um what else patreon go check that out uh, large caliber instructors over on patreon if you want to help support this channel and help support the babies um because yeah the breeding snakes is not a get rich quick thing uh, if you're in it for the money you're doing the wrong thing you this is my hobby. I'm not in this for the money. I, If I make some money um, down the road from this, 
okay, but that's not my goal. I don't think I'm going to make a fortune doing this. I, I knew that going into it. I, I know even if I do make any money on this, it's going to be at least two to three years, maybe even four years down the road before I do. So, yeah, I already, I'm not looking to get rich. I'm, this is not why I got into this. I got into it because I love snakes. <coughs> Excuse me. And my wife more or less said it was okay. So, as long as she's still cool with it, I can still do this. Uh, I got the rats downstairs that I'm bringing for food, so I'm not spending three, four hundred dollars a week, or a month, I'm sorry, a month on rats, buying them from the store. So, that being said, it is very much cheaper to breed your own rats. Or buy frozen thawed if you can get your kids to eat frozen thawed. Mine were hit and miss on frozen thawed. Uh, usually every, bam, they hit every live rat that I throw in there. So, live rats it is. Uh, Tazzy still eats frozen thawed, so, yeah. Alright guys, until next time, hope everybody's doing well, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Oh yeah guys, I almost forgot. If anybody can tell me what this symbol is on my head, on my hat, what this emblem is from, and who this emblem belongs to, um, comment down below, let me know, and uh, we'll see how many Star Wars fans we have out there that actually watch my videos, alright? See you guys.